The 6,000-seat basketball and volleyball arena is starting to take shape. Good weather has helped crews lay the foundation and put up most of the steel frame that's rising next to the Dakota Dome. Inside the bowl or inside the building, we've got over half of the precast stadia units set. With the precast stadia units are the pieces that you will actually sit on in those plastic chairs uh, when you're watching an event in, in the new facility. Much of the underground plumbing and electrical work has also started, and in June, workers will pour the concrete on the concourse level for concession stands and restrooms. The significance of the deck pour allows so many other contractors to start work uh, as it relates to exterior wall framing can start, um, uh, fireproofing can start, uh, hanging MEP systems underneath that concrete slab can start. Other big projects planned for June include the installation of the arena roof and cutting of three openings in the existing wall. So I would say by the end of this month, you're going to start seeing that transparency between the new facility and the existing Dakota Dome.